All right, All let's right, do uh, fl- two more topics. Let's fly through them, Riley. Let's do our best. All right. Uh, okay, I know you. this was actually Greg's idea. You had a heads up on this one too. Which team could would have the best chance at a national national title without their best player? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this obviously comes from like Illinois looks great without Terrence Shannon still. And uh, I now think Illinois is my national title pick. I don't know if Riley's heard that yet, but I'm, I'm standing by that. I truly believe it. Uh, part of that is I do think they'll get Shannon back, but I love this team without him as well. Let's just say like the, the playing field was leveled across the entire sport. Every single team's best player was taken away from the team. Who's the best team in the country? Mm. Uh, is it cheating to say Houston since they're number one on Kim Palm still like, and you, it's a little, uh, like, I think if you take LJ Cryer away, they still have the infrastructure in place to be really good. So we're calling, the, we're calling LJ Cryer the best player in the team. I mean, who would you say? I think I, so. Yeah, I, I feel like it's cheating to pick Houston because there's not a surefire best player on the yeah. team. Yeah. Is that this, is that true for Arizona too? Like if you took Caleb Love or Kylan Boswell away, or I, actually if you took Shaw Johnson away, I don't know if this team is, I don't think I'd take him. I think he's so important for what they do. I would probably go UConn. Mm-hmm. Well, and we've seen them without it, right? Unless... Yeah, like that. Yeah, like I'm. I, I'd say UConn. It, there had to be like a, a certain parameters with it. One, you'd have to have like something in place where like the style of play can function without the best player. And I feel like UConn is one of those teams in that category. Like they got guys that are wired to play UConn basketball, and for Hurley, and I obviously we've seen it, like Greg mentioned. But yeah, I think UConn would be the answer for me. How close to the top is Illinois, Cart? Like I, I kind of think they're up there. Oh, they're up. Oh, they're up there. They're probably second choice to UConn for me. The team yeah. who takes the biggest hit by far is Purdue, right? You remove Zach Eady and still a good team. I was going to oh. say Kansas. Oh, Kansas that's a good one. Or Kansas without McCuller. Kansas without was- McCuller or Kansas without Dickinson. Like, I think that team is awful. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a really if you good took one. away if you took away Hunter McCuller might give them enough pop from the perimeter to keep them afloat and just slide uh, KJ Adams down to the five, put Furphy at the four. Like it's it's bad, but they can probably be like a ten seed still. Yeah, true. Without McCuller, it'd be bad. It'd be, without McCuller, it'd be a repeat of Michigan. Yeah, I think McCuller is more important than Dickinson. I was gonna throw Duke out, but it would be flip, not Proctor, but I was going to say, we've already seen them get better without their best player. So I guess that's not true. If you took flip out, that team would be awful. Yeah. They like fall off a cliff without him on defense. Uh, I, here's one. I think actually there's a really good argument for who's the best player on Kentucky. Yeah. That was the one that I had in mind too. Like if you took Dillingham away, I still think they'd have a good shot to win the title. They'd be nasty. True. And I think a lot of other people wouldn't even say Dillingham's the best player. Like the people mm-hmm. might try and point you to Antonio Reeves. And I think you could remove Reeves and they're fine. They don't miss a beat. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think that's my answer after talking through Kentucky. Or, uh, you know, we don't got to expand on it, but also if we remove Baycott from North Carolina, I think they would still be fine. Mm, I don't. I think they couldn't, they wouldn't be able to get stopped. They already struggle to get stops. Well, they've been playing better defense recently, but he is so integral to what they do on defense. That man was, he was the, the anchor against Pitt. I know you're going to make some Pitt jokes. They're a bunch of losers, fake tough guys, but <laughs> he was so good in that game. Hey, um, Greg, Greg, Greg is the anchor against Pitt. It's, it's not that they're <laughs> losers or fake tough guys. It's that they're Pitt, Riley. <laughs> it's, it's Pitt. That's what we're talking about. Uh, which, which of our three teams do you think gets better or worse? with our three people leaving. Like if, if Carter leaves, what happens to Michigan state? If if I leave? Yeah. Like if you disappear, not saying oh, you're, I thought you were gonna say, like if our team's best players, like if my team lost Tyson, your team lost Doug McDaniel. No, I, I'm talking you like not, and of course not saying like you're going to disappear or anything, but like if you did, you know, if Carter disappeared, I think there would be, I think DK would have like full control of the Michigan state narrative. The fan very narrative. true i'm very integral not to toot my own my own spartan horn i'm very integral to the michigan state fan base and i think cart balances dk out some and doesn't just let him have blind faith in carson cooper yeah and then he gives me and then he you know he, re- he reciprocates yeah, yeah he makes you be more positive yeah yeah okay so you're integral that's noted uh what would happen you're integral, you're integral because you're the only one greg <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I was going to say I don't make a difference whatsoever because nobody cares, but I think 
Jawan Howard would be held less outwardly accountable. I think I'm the only one yelling about that right now. True. So, uh, right, what happens in North Carolina if Riley disappears? I mean, Riley's going to hate this answer. Riley's special. I love Riley. There are probably archetype type people, hundreds of Rileys in the North Carolina fan base. <laughs> That's insane, man. That's insane. I'm, I'm, I love the kid. I do. He's he's special. He 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 does separate himself. But if I'm a couple, you know, if I'm a couple of North Carolina IPA hazy ale, whatever the the <laughs> roof is not the ceiling, drafts deep. I might confuse Riley for somebody. Oh, I thought you were saying there's a lot of IPA drinking, uh, bluffs vacationing. That's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Occasion males in the UNC yeah. fan base. So yeah, 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 that's what I'm. That's I see I'm the saying. point. I'm not slighted by it. I see the point. Yeah, don't take it to heart. Greg, <laughs> do you, do we want to do one big thing or do we want to hit my last? Uh, hit your last topic, third topic.